Speaking of a mess, uh, how much time you spent in the state of Florida? You spent a lot of time down there. You ever been? I, I've been. I've been a few times. I've been. Well, I'm. You know, New Yorker. We're gonna be in Florida at some point in our life. So I've been. I've been all over Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, they voted for him. Uh, y'all, hey Florida, y'all voted for this dude. Y'all, y'all <laughs> voted for him. Uh, Ron DeSantis. You see, Ron DeSantis, governor of Florida, talking about Florida State not making the playoffs. Wants to sue. <laughs> he wants to sue to put Florida State in the playoffs. I mean, I okay. And I, I, I don't care. I don't care what, what, what your. What, I know what his party is, but I just want to make it clear: it's not about your party. It's just about your position. I'm guessing, regardless of party, there are a lot of politicians, Democrats and Republicans alike, but probably more Republicans and Democrats who talk about, hey, uh, we need less government. Uh, we need to clean this up. There's too much waste. There's too like we, we're wasting times on things that don't matter. That's what you do in your everyday life. And then on weekends, you talk about you go sue for a million dollars. <laughs> the college football playoff because because the ACC is not that strong and and Florida State's not in the playoffs. I mean, Jeff, make this make sense for me, please. Well, you, you made it made sense when you said the name of the school, Florida State, who represents the state, Ron DeSantis. He knows his constituents and he knows it's God family football, especially college football. Yeah. So he knows if he goes after the, the, the NCAA and wants to sue for a million, you'll get at least the Florida State contingent who will be champion that cause. But if we're getting to the point where we have to start suing, we have to make this a legal matter to justify a team getting kept out of the college football playoffs, we've known we've hit, hit peak unseriousness with everything going on. I mean, <laughs> I could think of a million other ways a million dollars could be used by the state of Florida. You know, maybe we could get some books back. Maybe we can, maybe we can get the books back. Maybe we could, we could invest it in some other places. But yeah, this is, this is, this is like a, a sports fan being uh, an actual sports fan. If, if he went to Florida State or if he was a Florida State fan, being in charge of a government and, be, and having this responsibility, it just reeks of like psycho fandom right now. So yeah. I, I, and I think he needs that win too, because if you looked at some of them polls, he, he needs a help Mary at this yeah, point. Yeah, 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 so maybe this is it. Hey, maybe this is, hey, I was going to say, maybe this is it. Maybe this is brilliant on his part. Hey, this is what this is what the, the voters want to see. Yeah, I don't want to hear you talk about uh, your day job and your and your your serious political topics. Are you down with Florida State? Okay, you <laughs> right. down with college football? Maybe uh, that gives you a little bit of momentum. But I would say this: uh, when we talk about college football in this playoffs, a lot of teams. Here's the good thing about snubs. And snubs are good because snubs, you know, create conversation. Uh, the controversy brings attention, brings attention that maybe wouldn't be there. I, can you imagine if you just have the four teams, everybody expects the four teams to get in and mm -hmm. they get in. Like, what are, we, what are we really talking about? We're not really, okay. We're looking forward to the college football playoffs uh, next month, fine, we move on. But now there's really a good conversation here because of the snub. Conversationally is good. But it, it, this is why it's also good. It's put, it puts pressure on a lot of teams to perform, and now we have something to look out for. I can't wait to see Florida State and Georgia. Mm. I can't wait to see it. Like Florida right. State has made, they've gone on and on, and it's it, maybe it's unfair because they would bring a, a different level of intensity um, if they were in the playoffs, but now that they're not in the playoffs, maybe they, there's a bit of a drop off. But you've gone on and on talking about the injustice. You're 13 and 0, Power Five Conference, first team in a Power Five Conference to be undefeated, not invited to the dance. Yeah. Okay, we were robbed. Now we're watching to see what you got. Don't lay an egg now. You better be ready. <laughs> oh, you better be. You better be ready to play now. We're all watching. We want to see what we miss. Pressures on Florida State to a lesser degree. Uh, Georgia hasn't complained much, but it is interesting to me, Jeff, that Georgia 
goes from the top, I mean, like all season long, all season long, undefeated, lose a conference championship game by a field goal, and now they're out? 29 game winning streak, now they're out? So I want to see how they respond. Right. This is good stuff. Live by the SEC, die by the SEC, bro. (laughs) It's a cold game out there. I know, it's cold. (laughs) But a million dollars. No, we're not giving you a million dollars. Hey, thank you for watching Brother From Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.